Hello, hello, welcome to Quackalo. Thank you for being here. Today, we're going to be popping the seal on a brand new game from Genius Games. Genotype. A Mendelian genetics game. And which I know nothing about. Listen, I dropped out of high school. And biology was my favorite class, actually. And I, I flunked out of biology. I love genetic inheritance and the Punnett square. Yeah. Yeah. When I re-enrolled in high school, I then apologized to the biology professor because she didn't really care. She was trying to invest in me. She just didn't, you know. That's one of the reasons why I went into nursing. How much I love biology and she science. She became a full-on neonatal nurse. Yep. Which is like baby babies. I mean, baby babies like this. No, those ones don't make it. Okay. She <laughs> became someone who helps save lives. I became someone that covers board games. Wait. This game is designed, let's give them a shout out, by John J. Have you? Yep. Paul Salomon and Ian Zhang. Very cool. Okay, on the back of this, I'm gonna go ahead and pop the seal. Now, you're not very respectful of unboxing videos. She, no. in fact, has even stated. I don't understand the point in them. Not I like unboxing videos. I used to babysit kids that would watch other kids unbox toys and games, and I never understood the appeal. I... And this is just the adult version of okay. that. Okay, listen, if you're watching this, I'm one of you. I love watching unboxing videos. I like seeing seals being broken. I like seeing what's inside. I would rather break those seals and see what's inside myself. I don't okay. want to live vicariously okay. through other people no, 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 when no, I can no, be no, doing no. the no. exact Shira, same thing Shira, they're Shira, doing. Shira, stop attacking our audience. I'm not attacking the audience. Listen. I'm attacking you. If you're enjoying watching this like I enjoy watching this, let me know in the comment section down below. What do you like about unboxing videos? Is it the B-roll, the commentary? Is it getting a look at a game that you haven't got a chance to own yourself yet? There's a lot of reasons to dig into them. But let's go ahead and pop the seal here. We'll be respectfully quiet. I'm just going to watch you do your respectfully perfect... Respectfully quiet. For some people, this is the best part. Okay. What, you just throw it on my lap? Scientific knowledge doesn't always advance in predictable patterns. Help Gregor Mendel. Mendel. He's important, right? Yeah. Test his paradigm shifting hypothesis paradigm? in genotype. A Mendelin genetics game. Up to five players work as research scientists alongside Mendel, collecting experimental data and, l data and learning the fundamentals of genetics. Each round, scientists compete over a shared pool of offspring dice uh, that are rolled to simulate genetic inheritance. Track dominant and recessive phenotypes, hypoth hypothesize outcomes, and watch hierarchy principles in action. While waiting for the next generation of plants' work, to set research work to set research goals, acquire powerful tools, and secure funds for hiring assistants or purchasing upgrades. The scientist who sows the most plants and best predicts the results reaps the victory. So the cool thing about Genius Games is going to be they have a whole collection of educational science-based themes that are actually arguably really good games. And this is one that attracted me because it's so aesthetically beautiful. That I really want to the check it out. Book. Ooh, look, look, look. The very beginning. The science, the oh, game. That actually just gives you The science, the game. The science, the game. You're getting excited? The science. Look at all the flavor text. It's a book of flavor oh text. Oh my gosh. Cool. First off, I'm intimidated by it, but if I'd learned biology this way, I would have probably liked it more. Uh, can I read a little bit of this? Yes, go ahead. I'm okay. going to show them let's the... Do, let's do Mendel's study of pea plants. The science. The most widely held views among Mendel's contemporaries were that the traits of offsprings were blended of, or a blend of their parents, that they were inherently only from the father, or that the traits could be acquired after fertilization. But none of these theories could explain the observed complexities of inheritance, such as why certain physical features, such as hair color, skipped generations. To investigate, Mendel conducted careful genetic experiments. His most successful work involved breeding pea plants, which were particularly well-suited for the question Mendel wanted to investigate. Pea plants self-pollinate, 
using their pollen to fertilize their own eggs and reproduce, which helped Mendel begin his work by cultivating purebred genetically identical lines of plants. Mendel then cross-pollinated these purebred plants, plants to generate the hybrid plants that he would use to describe the inheritance patterns of specific traits. Pea plants also have several traits that exist in two distinct forms, crucial for tracking the natural inheritance. Mendel studied seven such traits in approximately 30,000 pea plants over eight years. So some of the traits that he's talking about are actually the pea plants can come in yellow peas and green peas. The pea plants also come in smooth peas and wrinkled peas. And there's a couple more traits. But based on so smooth is always dominant to wrinkled and dark green is always dominant to yellow. And based on the fact that if you have dominant, dominant, recessive, recessive, it all just jumbles together and you can make a Punnett square uh, two by two. You can mm -hmm. make one even larger and the math and how you draw it all and what character traits are actually going to be expressed is so cool. And you actually see this with kids. Parents who both have brown eyes can actually have a blue blue eyed child. Or like because, you, you have bright red or hair. I have bright red hair and brown eyes, which is an anomaly eyes. because red hair is recessive. So that means I had to have red hair on both sides of my family. Brown eyes are dominant, which means I only needed one parent. Both mine had brown eyes to give me them. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. The game. <laughs> <laughs> Genotype uses pea plant cards as the research goals that the players are pursuing. The cards sh show the plant caught halfway between the theorizing of dedicated science and the real plant that could be produced. Each card contains several aspects of the pea plant's genetic makeup and an image that reflects how the plant would look. Over the course of the game, players will use experimental data to, data to validate the traits of these plant cards, reflecting their success in undertaking the plants they are working with. In the, pea, in the plant breeding phase, parent plants directed by the players are bred through rolling the offspring dice. The plants are bred and maintained in a garden, a process that is, of course, aided by gardening tools. The game includes tool cards represented by the tools used by Mendel in his experience. Some of these allow players to take actions in their garden that are directly related to techniques Mendel actually used in his experiments. For example, Mendel used a pollen brush to manually cross-pollinate plants. The pollen brush card allows players to place one trait on multiple pea plant cards. All right, can I? I want to get this to the is all so strings. cool. But as someone that likes flavor text, Shira, that is this is and this is who a, likes oh science. my gosh! So nice, sturdy punch board. What, what do you think of the punch board? You got to review the punch board. That's part of what the people want. Punch? Yeah, give it a, give it a punch. Nice. Good. Oh, this is actually yeah. Crisp. They come out nice. Heavy, and... thick. Yeah. Now you're getting unboxing videos. Solid. All right, these look like your player boards. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gardening plots, you have your offspring research, temporary dice, which is going to be the thing that you're allocating. And these are our thicker, heavier paper. Some scoring on the back of each one. Another punch board, good quality punch board. Uh, it looks like there's five of these, so I'm assuming each player gets one of these. Yeah. Things you can upgrade, little tools. That this might is, be the first player this marker. Be the first honestly. player marker. All right, board. Board, 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 board. Take box. No. No, fine. All right. Ooh, ooh, back of board first. Why? Oh. Genotype. St. Thomas's Abbey, Breno? 1873. Yeah, this That's must crazy. be where the research was done. Yeah. Oh, okay. right. So. You seeing some things that you're excited about? Yeah, see? Yellow and green. So tall and short. Purple flowers, white flowers mm. when they bloom. And round and, and wrinkled. Round. So see, RR is the dominant gene. You use capital letters. Mm -hmm. Little r, little r is the only way a recessive gene will be um, presented. And that's the wrinkled. Uh, so all of them are for... Oh, I'm so excited. So they use the letter actually to represent the trait. So R for round, flower for the flower trait, mm -hmm. green for the green plant, and tall for the tall mm -hmm. plant. So recessive would be the most recessive plant you could ever create. Would be a wrinkled, wrinkled white. white no, so a wrinkled yellow pea short plant with white flowers. You so, know how like. So a short wrinkled, wait, a short plant with yellow pea pods. Wrinkled peas, white flowers. Yeah. So when a plant blooms, it initially blooms the flowers mm -hmm. before it brings forth the vegetable or fruit. Oh. So a short plant with white flowers that produces yellow, wrinkled yellow peas. wrinkled peas. Yeah. Cute. So it's so 
I like, and see, this is the Punnett square I was telling you about. So mm. FF will produce a dominant child. Little f, little f will produce this. The mixed ones will present the dominant gene, but they will be able to pass the recessive gene down to their children. Okay, let's keep digging. What else do we have in here? This is so exciting, and I could teach so much science from it. We're, we're, <laughs> that's need, what they do, though. That's like their, that's, that's the game. We need to get make. the periodic table one, because I can tell you all about the element. Yeah. These are the children that you're going to roll. So see, IV is the fourth guy, the fourth, the recessive one. I is his big dominant one is a deck of cards patent well. bag of baggies of course can't have a game without it can you pass nice the knife? components pass super the knife? super impressive components honestly look at these wooden player pieces Ooh, bits nice. with custom little uh items icons shovels those are the tools that the that the flavor text is talking about that you need in the garden yeah shovels. This, is, this is nice well the tools are actually going to be on cards as well but no, I'm very, I'm very thrilled with, uh, and the dice actually roll nice. You didn't tell me they were weighted as well. These are sturdy dice. These are heavy. Yeah. Yeah, these are heavy. Uh, either way, this is, this is super exciting. We have a few cards to look at, and I just heard a very sleepy, groggy Alex Radcliffe and his family stumble through the door. They were up in Canada. We might have well, broken in, so we'll continue. Don't, uh, don't tell them we're here. We're gonna finish this unboxing video. And then get out through the window, back door? The basement. Something. Door. Okay, so here's going to be the cards. So each of these are going to have, first off, our collection of various researchers. Uh, right? So these are different people that are doing, like, taking actions on the board. Uh, we have, it looks like, some programming that we can do. These are the plants you're producing, I believe. Yeah, so these are the really cool things. So this is showing that depending on what you produce, if you Smooth. produce if you produce big, small... Well, it's going to be around, not wrinkled, yeah. and it's going to be green. I just like, so each piece of artwork is showing what type of pea plod you will produce off of this Tall card. and white because it's yellow. The purple would be Because it has, it has a lower. small, gentle recessive. Yeah. And you're trying to do your best to sequence the dice to produce these different types of plants. So you cool. want to be able, like, you get nine points for this one if you got heavy, heavy R, big F, little uh, F. But, little, but little G's. Yeah. Yeah. And then the final set of cards we have here, these are going to be the things like the pollen the plumber, brushes. We have a uh, watering funnel, a flower pot, a seed bag, and a dissertation, dissertation, hand lens, pocket watch. Dissertation is what fancy people garden get lines. when they go to college and get a degree. Oh, no, I deserted as well. 